World's first gene edited babies created in China claims scientists. Says unconfirmed scientific breakthrough sparks ethical and moral concerns. Says a scientist in China claims to have created the world's first genetically edited babies in a potentially groundbreaking and controversial medical first. If true, it would be profound leap of science and ethics. This kind of gene editing is banned in most countries as the technology is still experimental and DNA changes can pass to future generations, potentially with unforeseen side effects. Now, I wanted to bring this to your attention because this not only is a violation of the scriptures, but it was this sin that brought on the destruction of the flood. Notice another article here. It says human pig hybrid created in the lab. Here are the facts. Scientists hope that the chimera embryos represent key steps toward life saving lab grown organs. So here again, uniting the human with the animal. This is an abomination. Many do not realize that the mixing of humans with animals is an abomination according to the word of God. Notice what it says in Leviticus 18, beginning from verse 23. It says, neither shalt thou lie with any beast to defile thyself therewith, neither shall any woman stand before a beast to lie down thereto. It is confusion. So the Bible says that a beast is not to lie down with a human being, or in other words, the mixing of animals with humans, it is confusion. Notice what the result will be as it continues to read. Defile not ye yourselves in any of these things, for in all these the abominations are defiled, which I cast out before you, and the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit the iniquity thereof upon it, and the land itself vomiteth out her inhabitants. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgments, and shall not commit any of these abominations, neither any of your own nation, nor any stranger that sojourneth among you. For all these abominations have the men of the land done which were before you, and the land is defiled, and that the land spew not you out also when ye defile it as it spewed out the nations that were before you. For whosoever shall commit any of these abominations, even the souls that commit them shall be cut off from among their people. Brothers and sisters, this is an abomination of what is taking place as we are editing the genes in babies. And the Bible just told us in Leviticus 18 that God will spew out the land will spew you out. Many have failed to realize that what we're seeing in California with these fires, that's a judgment. Many don't recognize that is a judgment. The abominations that are going on in California, many of the much of the oppression, the LGBT, the you know immorality going on. This is a judgment of God. Notice what this says in the book Spiritual Gifts, Volume Three, Page Sixty Four. It says, but if there is one sin above another, which called for the destruction of the race of the flood, it was the base crime of amalgamation of man and beast, which defaced the image of God and caused confusion everywhere. God purposed to destroy by a flood that powerful long lived race that had corrupted their ways before him. So brothers and sisters, God has no part of this amalgamation that is going on. And this will lead to the destruction of planet earth. My prayer is that we will surrender to Jesus Christ, that we may reflect his image, his character, and not the image of a beast, because we will either represent the lamb 
or we will represent the beast in these last days. And we know that even when we talk about a, a woman lying down with a beast, a woman in Bible prophecy represents the church and a beast represents a nation according to Bible prophecy. So now that we see in our land the uniting of church and state, especially here in America, that's what Revelation 13 verse 10 through the end of the chapter brings out how a union of church and state will lead to the image of the beast will lead to the mark of the beast, which has nothing to do with the chip being implanted in your hand. Many have seen the chips that are being planted. Now, don't get me wrong. They will use that as a means of control, but that is not in and of itself the mark of the beast. The mark of the beast has to do with the beast who is the papacy and the mark of her authority is Sunday worship, honoring Sunday. That is the mark of the Catholic Church's authority, Sunday. And God is showing us that there is going to be a national Sunday law here in America very soon. How? By church and state uniting. Many of you know that they're having worship services in the White House, that the evangelicals have been frequenting the White House and are sharing what they desire to see in the laws that are passed in the land. And when we see the leading churches of our nation uniting upon points of doctrine, then we can know that an image of the beast will be formed and they will appeal to the state to enforce their decrees. This we are already seeing in the prison reform. We're already seeing in by them desiring to put Brett Kavanaugh in as a Supreme Court justice, all these signs of the times and how they are seeking to unite church and state, which is another form of amalgamation, which will bring on destruction. Why? Because they will pass laws directly opposed to God's law in regards to his seven day Sabbath. My prayer is that we'll stand for God's word. Because the just will live by faith, meaning the just will live by his word. Will you live by God's word? Will I live by God's word? Why? Because we don't have that much more time. By the simple fact of them uniting animals and, be and, and human beings, it lets us know probation is about to close. The opportunity for salvation is almost up. Have you accepted Christ as your personal savior? Have you repented? Have you confessed and forsaken your sins and accepted Christ's power in your life that you may live above sin? Let us choose Christ today. 